What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Murder One, Southport Coalition OG, and I'm going straight to the point, man. I'm going to give some game, and some people are going to like it, some people are not, on Pastor Wilson. Yeah, Pastor Wilson. We're going to go with the pastor today. So I'm going to kind of, I've been talking to people all day today on what they feel, what happened. Some congratulated them, some did this, some that. So this is how I started. The pastor must preach a great sermon that Sunday. Because I don't know what day it happened, a Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, whatever day it happened. And whatever he said, the young lady got out of it about getting the cat out the tree. <laughs> so so she called Pastor. Pastor, man, you had a great sermon. I, I heard basically what you had to offer. So I need you to come over and help me get this cat out the tree. You know, take care of this cat. Uh, so the pastor got over there and realized there wasn't no cat in the tree. But whatever she got at the sermon was real powerful. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to scatter a little thing. So I hear women saying, man, the pastor done a great job, man. If I can get with the pastor to take care of me, I don't need them sticks in the trees. I was like, okay, okay. Then you hear some of the guys like, man, the pastor handled his business, man. He, he did what he did. So... From my point of view, what I saw was the pastor's mistake was he had his eyes closed. So meaning whatever he was doing, being a pastor, a grown man, uh, mistake was he wasn't watching his surrounding. So I don't know who the young lady was. I don't know if the pastor married or whatever it was. But his first mistake was going in without visualizing what was happening. Meaning that when he was helping that cat out the tree, he should have been watching who going to make him fall. And the second thing I got of it was evidently the pastor was already making rounds around the community. He was doing a lot of community work. So meaning doing the community work, one felt uh, too close to the pastor. He, she felt that maybe I should be the only one. So going back to church, you got the good and you got the bad. You got the you got God and you got the devil. So that devil and her were like, okay, just expose the devil. Let's, let's expose him. We're gonna expose him for being this guy that. Serving the community <laughs> and, and women in the church. So she didn't think it out. She just served the devil like, fam him. Let's fam him and we put it out there. As a player, uh, hustler, ho, or whatever you want to call people that are out there with their own game, realize what just happened. Now, the ones she made him go viral for exposed him to more women now. Now, he has so many people he had to do community work to. <laughs> go out and do community work because he just got free advertisement. That's just like music game. We're going to put postcards out there and you're going to look at it and pick it up and you're going to pass it on you're going to tell somebody. So basically... The pastor went, he was going gold and they ain't going platinum. Thank you, young lady. I'm not saying it was your fault. I'm not saying it's his fault. But you were the one who figured you had to stop him what he was doing. And the only thing you did was expose him to a different habitat. Meaning, now he's in this jungle with a lot of people trying to feed him. He don't know what to go get. And the first thing he's going to get that phone call is, Pastor, we got this cat stuck in the tree, and we need you to come get this cat out. And he's going to get the cat. So from all the phone calls I heard had today, 
about this situation. You didn't do nothing but expose this man, made it viral, uh, opened doors behind closed doors, because over a hundred percent of people is doing something that we don't know what's been doing. So, so you really just expose something that's been going on on a daily thing. Don't get me wrong, our pastor's not bad. Like I said, I don't know if the guy was married. I don't know if the guy was his woman. But as a person at the hood, no, the game wasn't right. And he was doing this not just to her because her feelings got involved. And when her feelings got involved, she felt she had to expose this guy. So, Pastor, a word from a dude out the hood. Keep your eyes open. You're a pastor. You should know this. Quit, walk, quit walking around in the dark and keep your eyes open and, and watch your surroundings. Peace.